First night elk camp. I didn't get to film it, but we we're just riding up this road. We don't know this country at all. So we decided to take this high, high route and we heard a bull bugle. <laughs> and I'm not good enough to tell whether it was a person or a bull, but we come right up there, got right about to there. And he was coming down to meet our mules. We weren't calling or anything, but he heard the mules coming up the trail and he was coming down to meet them. Joey just slipped off the back of his mule and headed up the side of the mountain. He cow calling a little bit, and I kept riding up the trail to keep the bull busy looking at me. Now the bull turned around and left, but he didn't just put his horns down and take off. He just was going up the hill. So maybe Joey can get on him. I'll just sit here with the mules and wait. I didn't do a very good job filming yesterday. What happened with you and the and the big bull? I lost it. <laughs> you lost it. There's three bulls. Yeah. Weather's changing. Loaded and ready. So. Chat. Awesome. Cashews are good for mules. You like it? Storm's blowing in. It's supposed to blow hard and then what? It's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow? Tomorrow also? Rain just tomorrow. Breaking camp and moving, I don't know how many miles, a few miles that way. How was that thunder last night? Scary. That thunder, I, it felt like it was right there on that tree, didn't it? Yeah. Boom! The ground shook. I mean, <laughs> I swear I could feel a little tingle go through my body. Did you feel anything, Joey? Just a little bit. Just the ground? had one right down there. We were going to one up there and then he bugled right there, didn't he? But there was a bunch of cows that just walked right up through here when we were riding up the canyon. So I think it seemed like he just trailing them, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then, but the, there's a storm coming in and it, the, the wind is just swirling. And so first it's blowing this way on you and then it's blowing that way. So I'm sure our scent got to him. And anyway, we found a good spot to go to and we're gonna go to it. Heading back to the truck. Get a couple things. We might pack in back up there. Spend the night up there so we can be there early, early in the morning and be there this evening too. Might get good. Let's see. There's some bulls up there. Got a little rainstorm. 
we seen some elk up there. So I just let Joey go around and I turned and came off with the mules, hoping the elk would just watch me and not pay any attention to him sneaking around. All I seen was cows. It could have, there could have been a bull in there though. There's a lot of elk right in this area. See, he's another canyon over now. Swirling wind got us. Again. 
again. Swirling wind. He was right there. How far do you think? 75 yards? 80 yards? 100 yards? 100 yards. 100 yards. That's a count. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work for nothing, huh? Yeah. How far back to the truck? A long ways. Back to the truck. Back to the mules. <laughs> I know what I was going to say, but... We ain't got no truck. We're on mules. <laughs> We're pretty remote, aren't we? Yeah. What did we get in camp last night? Almost dark? Yeah. There's elk all around us, or there was yesterday. We haven't heard any bugles this morning, so... I thought we'd wake up to them screaming, didn't you? I thought it'd wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> map the water there was a tank marked up there on onyx map but there's no water in it it's just all sanded in or dirted in but it shows three springs down here Let's see if there's water in those if not we got to go all the way back we'll see elk still aren't talking this morning I thought they would be for sure they're not. Well, the batteries on my GoPro went dead, so I started using this Canon camera that I have. And for some reason, I didn't get any audio through it. But anyway, we went down to some private property and watered the mules, or close to some private property, and watered the mules. And came back, went out and, and walked down a ridge and did a lot of glassing, a lot of walking. We bumped into some cows and but we never could find a bull the following morning i got up real early yeah yeah one of my previous videos i talked about the starbucks singles don't use starbucks use black rifle just as good and they support what we what we what we do i hope i think so starbucks doesn't do they joey no they're all anti-gun anti-hunting anti everything huh yeah yeah stay away from starbucks and what we did is we just walked straight out from camp we didn't even saddle the mules we walked straight out Made a big jag down through there looking for a bull. Had one bull bugle, but just he was just moving away from us. We never could get close to him. We tried to head him off, tried to get him to answer. He never would. After that, we broke camp, packed everything up, and there was a tank that was up real high, probably about two and a half miles from where our camp was, and I wanted to check it and see if there was water there. And sure enough, we got up there, and that tank was full of water, but there was a two-track road that led to it. And there was people tracks all over the place and four-wheeler tracks and everything. So it probably wouldn't have been a good place for us. And there was a game camera right there also. That was the end of our elk hunt. Went down, back to the truck, broke camp, headed home. Mm -hmm.